I know when I first got into raw food and I would basically totally avoid. I would just totally avoid. Like when I first went raw, I felt like I can't be around my friends that are drinking. I can't be around foods that smell appetizing. I can't be, you know, in this place and that place. And I took a whole eight months where I didn't go anywhere at all except for to meet my friends skateboarding or to meet my friends for a bike ride. That's a good coping tip, to be truthful, you know. When you're a little flame, I find it really useful to look at yourself like a little flame. When you're a little flame, easy to be blown out. You're noodle to the raw food lifestyle. And somebody could just, you know, come along with their, their guilt or their shame or their opinion and blow you out and cause you to just flop over and, you know, choose to eat something that doesn't fit your values, fit what feels good to you. It can be really important to cover yourself, right? To shield yourself, to know that those certain situations or those certain attitudes are really challenging for you. And if you're already having a hard time, putting up that shield for a time until your flame can grow into maybe a, a little crackling fire, right? Maybe a, a campfire, maybe the bonfire we had out there, right? How long that takes is totally up to you. It might take weeks, it might take years, but through these tips, through some of these uh, different strategies I'm gonna share and we're gonna discuss, I really hope that you find yourself as a big bonfire, your light just shining so bright that the biggest winds can't blow you out, right? So when I was first into this raw lifestyle, I was a little flame. I didn't want to be in any of those situations. When I finally did feel a little bit bigger, I'd go to some restaurants and I always felt awkward. I always felt so awkward when I first started. I felt such an inconvenience. Has anyone felt like an awkward inconvenience at a restaurant? Yeah? A couple of you guys. Okay, that's good. That's good. I'm not alone. That makes me feel a little bit better. So I felt like an awkward inconvenience and I remember, you know, sitting at the table like sweating and like, like, oh God, like they're ordering. They're ordering. It's going to be me next. It's going to be me next. What am I going to say? What am I going to do? Oh my God. Oh my God. This is so embarrassing. Oh my God. Oh my God. And then she'd come up to me like, uh, I want a salad. You know, like, like, please, salad, uh, tomatoes, you know. I, I want the Cobb salad, but no ham, no onions, no dressing, no garlic, no cheese, no, no corn. Is, it, is the corn fresh? Is it organic? Okay, no corn. Um, and it was horrible. I, I, I felt really crappy. And everyone around me, they could see that I was embarrassed. They could see that I was having a hard time. I don't think in retrospect that they looked at me and thought, wow, that raw veganism looks great. You know, like, <laughs> I want to be like Chris. Like, that's just, that's just great. You know, so I felt all of those feelings, you know. Um, I've learned a lot through that. You know, I've learned a lot through that, and I've learned a lot of different perspectives and attitudes that can really help, that really have helped me out, and I hope they can really help you guys out. Uh, in the family situations, you know, family and friends, I found myself in the same kind of place where, Questions come up, you know, usually if you're at the restaurant, you're not getting a lot of questions, you know Besides what do you want, right? What do you want? But when you're with family and friends, they care a little bit more about you So they're gonna ask questions. They're gonna press you a little bit They might have differing opinions and views and they might really fear for your safety So they might be hard on you They might also just be afraid with what you're presenting and feel a resistance because they don't want to even acknowledge the potential that what they're doing is wrong so they'd be resistant against change and feel a head, headbutt, you know, like they put up their defense right off the bat. And that can be incredibly challenging as well.